Well, hello. Today is Sunday, January 2nd. My voice is still getting worse each day, but I'm still feeling pretty good, although I sound terrible. I know I sound terrible. When I get talk on the phone, people say, are you sick? And I go, I don't feel sick, but I guess I am. I don't know. But we do have birthdays today. Today is Brooke Toppin, T-O-P-P-I-N. Today's Brooke's birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Brooke. Happy birthday to you. Cha-cha-cha. And it's also Sabrina Wow, W-A-U-G-H. Sabrina's birthday today. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Sabrina. Happy birthday to you. Cha-cha-cha. Well, I hope you both have a great birthday, and I am so sorry that my voice, my singing voice, is ultimately a lot worse than it normally is. But I wanted to make sure I wished you both a happy birthday. I got an itchy nose. I must be going to kiss a fool soon. Um, we got about three inches of snow yesterday. And I have to tell you, I have the best neighbors ever. The best, best, bestest neighbors ever. They watch out for Gemini because they know we're elderly. <laughs> I hate to say that word out loud, elderly. But uh, anyway, I know. I'm, I'm 71, Jim's 72. Once you hit 70, I guess you're considered elderly. I like when they talk on the news and they go, an elderly woman, and she was like in her 60s. And I'm thinking, oh, that's not elderly. That's like a spring chicken. But anyway, uh, Jim Jim and I got up late. I'm surprised Jim got up so late. I didn't go to bed till like 1.30. I didn't get my butt out of bed till 11 o'clock. I got up a lot during the night to go to the bathroom because I drank a lot of water yesterday. I'm trying to flush whatever this is out of my system. I think I drank over 125 ounces of water yesterday, and then I had a pot of tea, and I had some orange juice, and I had some cranberry juice, and so I had fluids were running through me like you wouldn't believe, and uh, so I got up quite a few times during the night to go to the bathroom, so I didn't have like solid sleeps, but uh, I didn't, like I said, I got 10 to 11 hours sleep, so obviously I must be sicker than I think, because my body's trying to catch up with the, with the rest, I guess, I don't know, but anyway... So anyway, when we got up, Jim was getting his boots on to go outside to shovel the snow. And I told him, the doctor said, you're not supposed to wear shoes or boots. And then we opened up the shades and our neighbor next door, Jason, had already shoveled all of our snow. All of it. I couldn't believe it. So then Jim went out and he thanked him for doing it because he said, uh, you saved the fight because, you know, Sandra was going to be mad at me because I was coming out here. Because, you know, he told him about his foot surgery. And he says, well, I didn't know that you had foot surgery. I just know that you're usually out here really early. And uh, I kind of was a little worried for you, so I thought I'm going to clean out your driveway and your sidewalk and all that. So that was so nice. And so then I called his house, talked to his wife, and she says, oh, you sound terrible. And I said, well, I don't have COVID. I know that. I said, it's just some kind of like a head cold because I feel fine. Uh, it's not stopping me from eating. <laughs> so that's not uh, the problem because they say, I think they say it's feed a cold, starve a fever or starve a cold, feed a fever. Whatever it is, I'm feeding the cold because I have been eating. Oh, not a lot. But I've been eating. And uh, I just thought that was so nice. We've had our share of bad neighbors. Only one. But he he made up for all the other neighbors, let me tell you. He was he was an awful neighbor. He was an awful, awful neighbor. But uh, this kind of reminds me of when I was growing up, you always could count on your neighbors. And I can always count on my neighbors because they're always looking out for Gemini. And so I just, what a great way to start the new year, knowing that you're loved and cared for. You know, what more could you ask for, really? Just to know that you have good friends that are looking out for you. And... You know, the weight is going to come and go. The weight's going to always be up and down. It always is. But, you know, like a good neighbor, a good friend, a good family member, that's something you really want to hold close to your heart and treasure. And uh, I just think that was just so nice of them to do that. But she, she even said, she says, oh, my gosh, you sound froggy. <laughs> and one of my subscribers had sent me a comment and said that I sounded froggy, too. And so I had answered back, hopefully, I'm now going to age myself. Hopefully, I don't sound as bad as froggy and little rascals because he sounded, I wonder if that was really his voice or if they just did like a voiceover for him because, oh, it'd be sad to think a little boy had that deep of a voice. But how many of you watched The Little Rascals? I used to love watching The Little Rascals. I didn't really have a favorite. I liked Alfalfa and I did like Spanky. I don't know, I just liked them all. It was just such a good show to watch. We used to watch that all the time and we used to watch The Bowery Boys. Remember that? We used to watch The Bowery Boys. And uh, like all the Andy Rooney ones, like Andy Hardy. I think it was the Andy Hardy series. I loved all those shows. But just don't make them like that anymore, do they? 
So anyway, I finished taking not all of my decorations down. I still have both of our Christmas trees up. Um, I got the kitchen all cleared off now. So the only thing that needs to be taken down is the Christmas tree with the ornaments, which I'm in no big hurry to do this year. But, you know, the more I'm just sitting here just with the trees, I'm thinking, you know, next year that might just be enough, just having the trees up. Now, next year might be a whole other story. I might change my mind again. Maybe this memory of how long it's taken me to take all this stuff down <laughs> won't be there to remind me. But um, I don't know. I just, I just so, I think that as much as I'd like to have lights up all the time, all, you know, because it's such a nice feeling to just sit by the lights at the Christmas tree and that. I really think that if you had them up all, all the time, it wouldn't be as special. So I think that's one of the reasons. I figured out why we only have the lights up at Christmas time outside. It's because that's the only time you can make it really feel really special. But um, <clears throat> I wanted to reflect on the new year coming up because, like I said the other day, it's a whole new calendar, a whole new pages that we can fill in ourselves. And um, I want to remind you guys that, you know, like I've watched a lot of videos and I've seen a lot of people had gains over the holidays. And, um, and, I, and although I know a lot of us are disappointed by it, I really don't get the impression from anybody that they're destroyed that they think that all oh, now is the end. Now, now I'll never, I'll never get back to where I was. Um, no, I, I see quite a bit of hope, and uh, I just really think that it's going to be a good year for all of us. Now, one of the reasons I think that I got sick is, and one of the reasons I'm glad that we're getting back, getting together with people, is I think the fact that we were all on our own for a whole year, not with anybody around us, that our immunity systems kind of immunity. Yes, that's right, immunity kind of went down I because I very rarely get a winter cold I get like a summer like sinuses and uh, my uh, allergies and things like that very very rarely do I get sick knock on wood but uh, I just think it's because I haven't been around germs <laughs> and I wear a mask everywhere now so you know that kind of prevents it too but I think that getting together with my family and friends over the holidays and uh, kind of going maskless when I was in my home environment uh, even like when you're in a restaurant, I wear them into the restaurant sitting down at the table, but then I take it off. It's in the air. It's in the atmosphere, So, um, which is true of any germ. I mean, not just COVID. I mean, any germ floats around in the in the atmosphere. So um, I really do think that uh, I think that's one of the reasons that I'm kind of feeling a little under the weather. Although, like I said, I, I don't feel too bad. Jimmy's sick, so the bad news is that... Uh, He's not going to be doing um, the tag this week, but I'm going to talk Jim into doing the tag with me this week. We're starting a new premise. Uh, it's not going to be, um, we're not going to tag people anymore. We're going to call it a tagless Tuesday. And um, we're doing a rotation of a bunch of us that are going to do the questions each week. Uh, Tracy over Trials of a Long Hair Girl made out a schedule so that each week somebody different will come up with the questions. And then we're just going to leave a list of everybody that uh, usually does the tag questions and then you can go over to their channels to see their to see their answers rather than try to tag it by now you all know that we communicate within ourselves and we pass the questions along and film it at our leisure when it works so as far as i know they're all going to go up on tuesday mornings at nine o'clock as far as i know i know mine will be going up at tuesday mornings at nine o'clock but anyway um i'm taking some realistic steps to get to my goal uh, I've, I've set a new plan for 2022. Um, my goal this year is just to really eat healthy, enjoy my life, enjoy my food, enjoy my companionship with my family and friends, and just strive just to either maintain or have a very small loss each week. But not to go off the rails like I have this past six months. And not to set a personal goal of reaching a certain number by a certain time. I, I just want to take realistic steps, and I, I really do think that once I get back eating healthy, which is another reason I think I got sick, is because uh, I was eating all that crap, I was eating all that junk, and uh, my body kind of lost some of its vitamins and minerals that were uh, that I was taking in on a regular basis. So I think that kind of added to the fact that I got sick. And uh, but like I said, I'm going to take some realistic things. I'm going to try to change up a little bit. Uh, like I, I'm going to try to do a, a recipe a week, something new. Try to get Jim aboard. Um, we'll see how that goes. And um, just strive to do my best. Be realistic about my goals. Not being destroyed by how badly I did in 2021, because I did really badly in 2021. But that was, you know, I've been very 
successful since 2016 when I joined Weight Watchers on December 31st. So I, I've hit my uh, five-year anniversary with still over almost 70-pound loss. So uh, I'm proud of that fact. And um, I, I'm not going to wait until I get to 100 pounds to be proud of how, how well I'm doing. I'm proud of how, fat, how much I'm doing, how quickly I get back on track, and just the fact that I never quit. I, I'm, I'm proud of that fact. And I'm going to ask myself what my new why is. Because, you know, every time, every once in a while, your why might change. You know, when I originally started, it was just to get my family to lose weight. I didn't really think I was overweight. But then I look at pictures of myself and I think, Sandy, 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 who are you kidding? You were way overweight. But my why has changed over the years. And my why this year is um, I just want to get back to feeling good, be, be back to feeling like, food is not my enemy and that I can occasionally indulge in something that I really like. I can occasionally have a can of pop. I can occasionally have a donut. I have to realize that uh, I have to want to, I want to be able to eat the way I want to eat, but within reason. And just know that my why is I want to get healthy. I don't want to be on a walker due to the health issues. Uh, I don't want to be confined to the home like because I'm afraid of going out, of getting sick. My why is just to live my life and enjoy my life. So what is your why for 2022? I'm just kind of curious. And I, like I said, I haven't come up with a word yet. I know it's already the 2nd of July, January and I haven't come up with a word yet, but I, I definitely will be thinking about that one. But uh, I, I'm, uh, I'm hopeful. I think that's going to be my word, hopeful. I'm really hopeful that this is the year that the pandemic goes away. We can get back to living a somewhat normal life again. Uh, I can get back on track, and I'm hopeful that uh, that I'm going to have some good some good losses. So yeah, I just come up with my word, hopeful. I am going to be hopeful this year. What's your word and what's your why? Those are my questions to you. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe, leave a comment, hit the like button, share if you think somebody might like to see it. As always, stay safe, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow.